Okay, so welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 filmmaking tips. This is going to be episode 5. So in this episode, I'm going to show you how you can use the camera or rig rail in Unreal Engine 5, which is pretty sick. If you're trying to recreate the matrix or anything like that, this is how you do it. So what we're going to do today is actually have a camera rotate around this character in the middle. Now, you can do this manually, but what I'm going to do is show you how you can do this kind of like in a faster way. All right, so first step is create cinematics and we're going to go camera rig rail right here. Press G and you're going to see the rail here. I'm going to move it up because it is underneath. And I'm going to go ahead and just kind of place it behind now if you don't have a circular floor just put like a sphere or something to kind of help you guide it because i'm kind of cheating here because i have a circle on the ground which is perfect for this demonstration so i'm going to go ahead and put this on the floor for now we will adjust the height here later on okay so to extend this camera rig rail i'm going to click on this little white box or white dot i'm going to press alt on my keyboard and i'm just going to extend that with my mouse i'm going to go ahead and zoom out and i'm going to go ahead and move that to the left right here and we can adjust this here again i'm going to move this around later on we're just going to get the kind of like the basic shape i'm going to go back right here and i'm going to press alt again and we're going to extend it to kind of show it to the north side just like so Okay, and then again, Alt, we're going to create another one, create one right here, and Alt, we're going to create one again right here. So we kind of have this weird shape, but now we're going to go ahead and finesse that. Now you can spend a lot more time that I'm doing here, but I just want to show you how to do this quickly so you can go ahead and start practicing. Go ahead, go right here, and I guess I can create another one, but let's see. Yeah, I can probably create another one just to kind of shape it a little bit better. Just like so. So in real life, you know, this would be really hard to do. Really expensive. You know, we used to do like PVC pipes to do this, but it was only like, it wasn't a full circle like this. That's why I like Unreal so much because you get to do, you get to play with cinem cinematography stuff really on the budget. <laughs> I don't have to spend that much money. So I'm going to rotate this. Again, you can perfect this to make it a perfect circle if you want. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to kind of like get a ballpark there okay so we got that that's a decent circle uh, i think i'm gonna add another one right here because this is kind of odd okay that looks pretty good all right so what we're gonna do next is actually create a cinematic sequencer so i'm gonna add a level sequence i'm gonna name this lol and we will add our camera rig rail in there we are gonna add our ninja warrior right here okay and then i'm going to i have an animation for this and i'm just gonna go right here let's position him back so that he's facing the right way rotate ski left ski and up ski right here all right let's see if this looks good okay so actually there you go that's when i got settled right there and i did use the accents for this motion capture here for my short if you guys haven't seen it go we'll check it out so here we go let me see what he looks like up front though okay that looks pretty cool i can probably add another light there if this is really a short so i'm gonna go ahead and press g again let's make sure that we got this right here now now that we have the basic shape right when he kind of gets closer to his face i'm going to raise it up like so kind of like a roller coaster ride okay I'm going to raise it up because we want to be able to see his face, right? If you remember seeing the matrix, the bullet time, that wasn't just a circle. It, they, it had a little bit of height adjustment to it. So we're going to go like that. All right. So that looks pretty good. All right. So next step is we're going to be doing a cinema camera. So cinematic cinema camera actor. And what I'll do is I'll we'll just parent that to the camera rig rail. We set it right here and it's going to take it all the way to the beginning of this camera rig rail <laughs> right here so we have it now that's good to go i'm gonna press one right here and what i'm gonna do is click track current position on rail and i'm also gonna add this camera to our sequencer because we're gonna have to animate this in a second so we have that right now so you can see on the floor it's fine i'm gonna go to the camera rig rail i'm going to set a keyframe right here boom and then i'm gonna go down 
a little bit. It looks like he's walking, so that's gonna look really cool. And we're just gonna increase this to, you know, that is okay. The keyframes you set right here is just gonna determine how fast you want the uh, the actual animation to be. So one is gonna take it all the way back to that same spot. So as you can see, it's gonna like whip around, go up, and then down again. All right, and that's why we added the cinema camera actor in the sequencer as well. I'm gonna go and save this because I'm gonna to have to animate the actual yaw rotation. So if we go right here, I'm gonna go ahead and click this button because we kind of want that like that. Actually, we're gonna go ahead and animate all of this because actually I want this camera to kind of look up like so. Okay, and then I'm gonna key that. Oh, there you go. I wasn't even in my camera view. So, so let's go ahead and turn on the camera right there and then I'm gonna go ahead and rotate that camera. And usually what I like to do here is I like to create two layouts, one for the perspective and one for the actual camera so I can actually see what I'm doing. Right here, let's go back to the camera and I'm gonna rotate that up just like so. And that should create a keyframe. If not, I'm gonna go ahead and re redo it keyframe. And it's gonna go ahead and follow that. But as you can see, it's gonna go out of bounds. So what you're gonna do then is just rotate the yaw and find that character again. Now, if you wanna make sure that it's centered right away, like dead center, go ahead and turn on your crosshair as well. If you're like a perfectionist like that. So we're gonna go to the middle of that keyframe now, and we're gonna make sure that he's again centered like that. So we're gonna go whip. Ooh, that one kind of whipped a little bit faster. So again, we're gonna center it, center it. And then right here, I'm going to find that again, and I'm going to center it. But this time around, what I'm going to do is actually aim the camera down because, you know, he is a little bit higher now. But over here, we're going to have to aim it back up. Okay. So it's just animating a camera, just like so. Okay. And then we're going to go yo again, just like that. And then again, I'm gonna aim the camera down because we're pretty high up here. Again, I'm gonna go right here and we will look right again, okay? I think my mouse sensitivity was so high that it was rotating in a lot more than I needed to. Here you go. And if you want to, you can just face it completely. Okay, so let's go ahead and watch this animation. Okay, it is a little bit fast, because obviously we animated that really quickly, but we can slow that down if you need to. And it looks like we're um, going under here. Let me see, right here. Right, where's the camera? Press G here. Where? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely under. So let me go ahead and fix this real quick. I'm just gonna go ahead and raise the whole thing up. Here you go. Cool. But yeah, that is pretty much how you can rotate the camera around a character, which is pretty sick. And it looks like we're dipping in there, uh, the bottom there a little bit again, like right here. So I'm gonna lift this up. All right, so from here, you can do a cinema camera actor and you can change the focus distance. But what I'm gonna do the next part is show you how I do my autofocus here in Unreal Engine 5 or 4, it doesn't matter. So if you want, you can animate your focus here, but it should stay in the middle because the camera really doesn't move that much away from that plane. But I'll show you how to autofocus it in the next episode of Unreal Engine 5 Filmmaking Tips. All right, if you all have any questions, let me know. And like always, thank you all for watching.